So I am about to head to the gym. First, I'm gonna mix up some pre-workout because I'm feeling a little tired today. And I am going to do my squat focused workout today. So I'll show you my warm up. I'm gonna do a little bit of stretching before because I'm feeling really tight for whatever reason. And then I will try and film the whole workout. Sometimes it's a little busy and it gets a little awkward when I'm in people's space, but I'll try my best and then I will have that up for you. Um, and I might do a cool down today as well, but we'll see when we get there. And I recently switched pre-workouts to the Jekyll and Hyde combo. I was using the Cellucor C4 Ripped, but I found all I got from it was just like really tingly skin and didn't have any focus and it wasn't really helping with my workouts. And also it dries up really, really fast. So I didn't even get to use like two of the containers that I had bought. So I asked for some recommendations a couple months ago and this is one of the ones that a couple people recommended. So I thought I'd try it again. I tried one of them on their own many years ago um, and I remember liking it and hearing that it was really intense. So I started off with just half a scoop of each because I was really scared. <laughs> I didn't want to like get to the gym and be like trying to scratch my skin off or something. Um, now I do almost a full scoop of Jekyll and about half a scoop of Hyde and I've had some pretty good workouts and I've crushed some PRs so I feel like it really works. Um, so yeah, I'm going to mix that up in my Wonder Woman shaker and the only other thing is that I bought blue raspberry and then cotton candy thinking that they would mix well together and they don't. But I mean, it's a good pre-workout, it doesn't taste the best but it's only 8 ounces of water, so I just like guzzle it back and then I'm good to go. I'll see you at the gym! throughout the entire movement. Feet firmly planted on the ground.
death stare activated. <laughs> it improves muscular activation if you hold your boobs. These are my friends. <laughs> So one of my absolute favorite restaurants to eat at that is relatively healthy is Chipotle. But I feel that it might be the sodium or something doesn't always agree with my stomach and I usually feel really nauseous after I'm done eating it. Or maybe it's the fact that I'm trying to eat a whole burrito bowl to myself. But anyways, I thought I'd try and recreate um, their burrito bowl on my own and that's one of my go-to recipes I'm often made fun of because I pretty much only eat burrito bowls during the day but it's a really quick and easy recipe to make and you can make it like on Sunday night and have it for lunch for the rest of the week the reason why I really like making and eating burrito bowls is because I find it's a really great way to get your macros in and it's also like a very balanced macro meal so I just usually do like half a cup of rice, get your carbs, you're also getting like your fibrous carbs from the vegetables, and then you are getting some fats from the avocado or guacamole, cheese if you're putting cheese on, and then your protein from the chicken. So you might want to load up extra on the meat. I think you can also do like steak burrito bowls, um, if you're vegetarian or vegan, you can do tofu um, or tempeh. And that's all I can really think of, but yeah. So it's a good balance and it's delicious, which is actually mostly why I eat it. And it's really filling, so try it out. Let me know how it is. So normally I'd use one full cup of brown rice, but I didn't have quite enough to make up a cup. So I used three quarters of a cup of brown rice and a quarter of a cup of white rice just to top it off. So I have enough for two meals at least, probably more. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and boil that because that's gonna take the longest. All right, I'm gonna do the pepper next because the onions, you will see what they do to my eyes. It is next level. I think I'm going to save that to last. The fact that I'm actually touching this chicken right now and cutting it like this is a huge step for me. I used to not eat meat and I couldn't even look at raw meat. And now I'm actually touching it, which I'm pretty impressed with myself. I know a lot of people don't agree with eating meat, but I don't mind anymore. And I know it's the best way I can get my protein and get a full makeup of protein as well. So I don't necessarily enjoy the taste, but I know I need it. And now we put on music and we wait for the food to be done cooking. Also, pretty much the only playlist that I listen to on Spotify is Pop Chill Out. This one right here. It's amazing. You should really listen to it. And now I put the bowl together. Alright, I'm going to put in half a cup of rice. So 
So I went and bought one Christmas decoration today, trying to be super festive, but I put it up with dollar store tape and I just heard it fall off my door in the hallway. And that's the last time I try and be festive. I might have another recipe coming for you guys. It's not as healthy. Um, I'm going to attempt my own little rendition of like chocolate bark, but I'm going to make s'mores bark and see how that turns out. I'm really excited for it because I love sweets and there's a lot of sugar in that, so it's probably going to be good. Um, and I bought this really cute tin to put it in. It's for a party. Um, and it's a very special party. So on Thursday of this week, um, it's officially been a year since one of my really, really good friends had a stroke at only 22 years old. Um, she's healthy now, so obviously that's why we're celebrating a year later. We're celebrating her health and just like, I'm really bad at talking about emotional subjects, but I'm so happy that she's she was young, so she was able to make a really good recovery, but obviously it, it did impact her life. She is very healthy too, like there's no reason like age or health-wise that this should have happened, but it's just another reason that we should try and be as healthy as we possibly can. We just want to try and prevent these health issues from happening and just do what's in our power to avoid them. Obviously life sometimes has other plans, but you just gotta take that as they come and, I don't know, just tell your loved ones that you love them. And I'm really excited to see her and have a couple drinks and just really, sometimes you take for granted your health and when such unexpected things like this happen, it kind of like makes you take a step back and really realize that not every day is guaranteed and you know, just really show the people that you care about in your life that you do care about them. But yeah, have a happy holidays and hopefully I will get that recipe to you in another video. Tell your loved ones you love them.